Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome to the Northern Song on a blustery Bellingham day in Alaska Sea Adventures. I uh, wanted to take a moment and talk about our new trips uh, being offered this year from Frederick Sound, the Petersburg area, to Sitka. And by the way, meet Frederick. He's named after Frederick Sound, mascot of the Alaska Sea Adventures. Anyways, we're going to um, leave Petersburg, hit a couple glaciers on our way to Sitka, set some crab pots, set some shrimp pots, eat some crab, eat some shrimp. And then from there, we're going to uh, go to Baranoff Hot Springs. And if you've never been to a hot springs, I'll explain. Uh, it's just natural pools in the ground where hot water comes out of geothermal vents and then is cooled in the pools and the pools are natural right next to a river there's a lake above it and a nice boardwalk trail getting to the hot springs it's kind of a special place or not kind of it is a special place and then from there we'll journey up into icy straits see the native village of huna come around the corner uh, into elfin cove in a place called cross sound kind of another magical spot it, it's it opens up into the ocean there and uh it's just a very protected ocean spot. Uh, from there, we'll head to Sitka. And on our way to Sitka, we'll see quite a few otters. There's a lot of otters in the area due to the crab abundance that used to be in that area. Um, we'll see humpback whales. We'll see gray whales. We'll see some fin whales. If the weather works for us, the fin whales are a couple miles offshore. And then we'll go on down into Sitka Sound looking at... Uh, more gray whales that come there to feed on the herring row um, and we have a big herring biomass herring are a small fish about this long and they lay eggs and the gray whales go through and eat the eggs and fish it out of the substrate spitting out mud eating egg in about four feet of water and they come up from baja to do this and we're seeing more and more gray whales when i was a kid we saw zero gray whales and now they're there due to the herring biomass um, can, and, can you see the gray whales uh, near Petersburg, or is that only a Sitka thing? It's only a outside coast Sitka thing. Um, they're there for the food, and inside where Petersburg's located further in, inside waters in southeast, the gray whales don't come in there because the biomass isn't there for them to eat, eat off of. Um, so so that, that's one thing that makes these trips pretty special that I would say. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, the gray whales are a newer thing in southeast on the outside coast, like I mentioned. And yeah, when these whales um, are friendly, so to speak, they we shut the skiffs off and they come right up to us. That That's a rarity, but it happens. Otherwise, we're a hundred yards off and we'll see, you know, 50 to 60 gray whales in certain areas. Um, it is a new anomaly and it's pretty cool. It's special. Uh, the birds in Sitka Sound can also be special. Uh, that time of year we'll be seeing puffins off of Lazaria. It's a little island in Sitka Sound. We'll be seeing sea lions off that same area. Long-tailed ducks, cormorants, uh, bald eagles. There's quite a plethora of bird activity in the spring. Um, they're all hungry and they're all there, there to eat so to speak. And Sitka Sound itself is pretty special given the dramatic backdrop of uh, Mount Edgecum. It's an inactive volcano that's been rumbling the last few years and uh, it's always kind of a snow-capped cauldron that you can see from the water from afar. It's always, a, as a navigator and a seaman, being offshore and you see Edgecombe, you know you're close to land and you're coming in to offload or whatever. It's kind of a special thing to see from the ocean. Um, also in Sitka Sound, there's Goddard Hot Springs, another hot springs. Uh, it's very weather dependent also. And then uh, the town of Sitka. And Sitka is a special place also, just like Petersburg. Each town in Southeast has its unique characteristic. Awesome. And do we have um, spaces left for 2024, 2025? 2024, we have spaces left on those two trips. And then 2025, 
um, that those trips are being offered again.